So we've disembarked in Seward. Uh, here we're going to catch a bus. It's going to take us to, Ala to uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, and then we'll continue the rest of our, our land travel from there. Now, like I said, we've got a couple hours to kill here in Seward. Uh, Seward's got a year-round population of about 2,700. Obviously that grows during the summer to accommodate all the cruise passengers. In addition to its cruise port, Seward is known as the starting point for the Iditarod, as well as one of the largest commercial fishing ports in the country. So, really a neat place. We have arrived at the Anchorage Museum. We're going to tour. It's four floors. We have a map. It's a, a lot to see. So we're, we're excited about today and seeing. What, we have kind of a slow day today. We just got off the ship yesterday, so we're doing the museum and just um, otherwise just checking out Anchorage. All right. It's not exactly your bootstraps, but it's a good example. <laughs> You have three eyes. Lies. Humans meditate to activate stress. Before the advent of human-made electricity, it was impossible to light a room at night. Richard Nixon did not say, I am not a cook. The sensation of falling when half asleep is a sign of rejuvenation. Sleep is not necessary. Life on Earth is rare. Michael Moore has written these sentences. The world is peaceful. You cannot forget what you know. Miami Beach is the capital of Texas. You do not hear this recording. You are not in North America. Politicians never lie. Probably not the best use of a drum set, but at least it gets more used than mine does. entirely possible I'm not appreciating art, but this is just pages excised, ripped out of an atlas, and then displayed. Ah, uh, you're in a bubble. <laughs> Isabella in a bubble. All right, here goes the bubble. Keep going, keep going. Oop. This is a neat topographic map we can make. Brennan and I made a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> about 6.30 a.m. right here in Anchorage. Uh, we're waiting on the bus. We should be here just shortly. It will take us to Talkeetna Lodge. Uh, and I think the plan is just to hang out in Talkeetna for the day and uh, kind of take it all in from there. That's right. We're here in Talkeetna. And that is Denali. I'm 
course we're at the lodge and the room isn't quite ready yet so I think we're gonna take a shuttle into town maybe grab some lunch explore a little bit of Talkeetna until we get the room ready. Talkeetna has got a population of just about a thousand fifty thousand sixty or so year-round of course it's a lot more folks here during the summer and uh, we are we're in town there's a little a few gift shops we can kind of see what we can find maybe to grab some lunch. Now that's a coffee mug. This is kind of neat. The spike and the references to the gold panning. You are now a Roradora. Loose parts. So this is the uh, the Boatwright bourbon that we tried in Juneau that I always had to bring back a bottle of. Didn't have much else, but they had that. That's a lot of runoff. It's moving pretty quick. I don't think you want to fall in there. All right, what do you think, Isabella? It's super cool. The water is moving so fast. The mountain behind us looks so good. It's really pretty. So we are in downtown Talkeetna, just kind of wandering around. There's stores, and there's at the end we can see the water and. Denali, but we found this cool place called Homestead Kitchen to grab a bite. I got salmon skewers because, I mean, you know, we are in Alaska and salmon is like the thing. Um, Brian got some poutine, this looks pretty good. And then Isabella got a, let's see, a 12, let's see, a fireweed brian for 12 hour pulled pork sandwich. Fireweed is like the is it the state, state flower? It's really beautiful. It's a pink and it has a story behind it that we'll share with you on another video. All right, so which is something a little unexpected. I just bought a bear. It's bear skin, but it was the coolest thing. Uh, I'll have to show you a video when we get, get it back home. But it's got the claws intact. Even it still has a nose. It's pretty cool. The story of where it came from. And it's got a hell of a story to go with it. So I thought it was neat. Look at this beautiful, colorful train. I think, I hope, that's the one we're taking them on. <laughs> 2,000 pounds, 11 foot 8. Bear. Masking brown bear. Yeah. So this is the view from our room at the Talkeetna Alaskan Lodge. Pretty good. In amongst those clouds is the top half of Denali. Pretty good I'm gonna, for the view from the hotel room. So it's a bit of a creaky patio, but you can see the trail. Give that trail a try here in just a minute. We are at our lodge in Tokitna and we are fixing to do a little nature trail. I love the view. So our room is like this one of these bottom floors down here. But you can, and directly out from us, we can see Denali and all the, the mountain range beautifully from our, even from our room. And they, have, they have a beautiful seating area out back too where you can take beautiful pictures and it's just gorgeous. So I think we've lost sight of the mountain on this trail. You can still see the Still see the resort. It's not too yeah, bad. Right, so this is clearly a mistake. We're not outdoorsy people. What the hell are we doing outside? We're getting carried away by mosquitoes. It's absolutely atrocious. Alright, so we've We've survived so far, the mosquitoes, and uh, we're at Base, base Camp Bistro. 
everything was like, ah. oh, they were Look everywhere. The everywhere. It was awful. Awful. So. Now we're inside. We're inside, yeah. There's no mosquitoes. Hopefully. All right, you can see the peak of Denali looking out through the clouds. I mentioned that while we were in Talkeetna, uh, we stopped and, and bought a bear. While we were downtown, there were several vendors that uh, that had a number of different things like uh, you know birch bark candles and so on. But there was a vendor that actually had a, a bear skin, and, uh, and and so we bought it. And one of the things that I really liked is it had a, had a neat story. In Alaska, uh, you can submit for a, a subsistence program, which allows those in need uh, to hunt and kill bear and caribou and so on. So a man near Talkeetna and near the Susitna River killed this bear and, and skinned it, and used the meat, but needed a chainsaw. Uh, so another man, the one that has the store, uh, traded him a chainsaw for the bear skin. Uh, and then ended up getting it tanned in a local tannery. And I came along and, and bought it. And, and we really loved having it as a reminder of our wonderful Alaska trip right here on the wall. The fur is real coarse, but at the same time, it's pretty soft. I wanted to hang it in such a way that you can actually come by and, and feel the, the claws 